Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today I'm bringing to you the top Christmas gifts you can be getting yourself, or that person you know is really into brewing and drinking great coffee. Now, Christmas wish lists are not all we do here at Alternative Brewing. So if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell icon, you can keep up to date with the latest reviews and product overviews that we bring out each and every week. And if you like what you see here today, go ahead and smash that like button. Now with that, in no particular order, let's start our countdown of great coffee gift ideas. Starting in at number eight, the Easy Presso Hand Grinder range. And we're looking at the Q2, the JX Pro, the K Plus, and the J Max. Now these grinders are some of the latest and greatest hand grinders to have been added to the spotlight of really good manual hand grinders. And whether you're looking for an upgrade from a blade grinder, or you have an old ceramic grinder that's starting to fall off the cliff in quality production, I've recently done a full comparison across all of these grinders, and what they all have in common is they're all incredibly well made Made, suitable to last a lifetime, as they all use steel conical burrs. So grinding across a full range of brew methods, from espresso to mocha pot, AeroPress to V60 and French press to cold brewing is possible. And these grinders have very specific and repeatable grind adjustment mechanisms, and this adds to their outstanding performance. Now, if it's a travel grinder that you're after, then look no further than the Easy Presso Q2. But if you're searching for a hand grinder to brew espresso with, then the JX Pro would be my choice for the budget option or the J Max for the ultimate precision. But if you or your loved one prefer to brew across several methods from espresso to filter, then the K Plus grinder would be the one to go with. But I would totally be stoked with finding any one of these Easy Presso grinders filling my stocking this year. So you can find this full range from the link up above. Now let's check out number seven. The Wellhome ZD10T Electric Grinder. And it wouldn't be right just to offer a whole bunch of hand grinders on this list without also having an electric grinder. And we've done that with the Wellhome. Now we did a review on this, what feels like way back in 2019. And since then, this grinder has been effortlessly grinding for a majority of my needs in this studio ever since. It is a little bit of an underdog on paper, but if you are brewing anything from manual espresso to stovetop mocha pot to pour overs or cold brewing, really the well home will do it all as well. And you would say its closest competitor would be the Baratza Encore grinder. And that's a grinder that has a substantial reputation as being a great grinder used by many at home. And well, honestly, I don't think the well home differs all that much in quality except the well home with a hopper capacity of 250 grams also includes adjustable timed dosing up to a minute at a time and a grinds catcher which has a handy lid that keeps grinds from flying out. And again, this is a grinder that may upgrade your current blade grinder, or perhaps you're using a hand grinder still at home and you want something a little bit more automatic, or perhaps you're looking to get into brewing coffee. So you're just getting started and you're a little bit put off by grinders in general. Well, the Well Home, whilst I wouldn't recommend it for an espresso grinder, for everything else, it will do a fantastic job at a reasonable price. And as I mentioned, I've been using mine now every day for two years, and honestly, it hasn't missed a beat. So if you wanna check out the Well Home Grinder, you can find it from the link in the description down below. Now let's check out number six, the Ancommon Turn and Seal Vacuum Canisters. Staying on the subject of beans, and a great way to keep your beans fresh, as you know, fresh is always best, be sure to check out the vacuum seal containers from Ancommon. Now there are a few different sizes and varieties of looks to go for. The 2.4 litre version here is going to hold a full one kilogram of beans, which is why it's one of the most popular for this reason. And these are both the UV protected black containers that are gonna stop your beans from degrading too soon due to sunlight, say if you've left it out on the bench. But ultimately, Ancommon work to remove the air from within the container, leaving the contents inside in a vacuum. So it prolongs the life of your beans, rice, lollies, cereal or chips, or pretty much anything else that has a bad habit of staling when left out. And removing the air is simple with the Ancommon, with a simple twist of the lid, and then getting back in is just a push of a button. They're also stackable, they can be placed in the fridge and also have ground coffee placed in them. So if you are someone who leaves their beans in a bag still or know someone who does, then these could be that gift that freshens things up a little bit. 
So if you want to check out the and common vacuum canisters, you can from this link up above. Now let's check out number five, the Varia Brewing Scales. Now Varia this year released a whole bunch of coffee products, including an electric kettle and a hand grinder. And to add to this list, they brought out this set of scales, which are an affordable set of scales. They're not the cheapest, but they're not even close to the most expensive set of scales. And they do offer all the value and everything you need in a great set of brewing scales, as they are straight up easy to use with a timer and measurements down to the 10th of a gram, and also a large three kilogram weight capacity so you're getting more than just a scale for coffee brewing. Because honestly, I don't remember the last time I had to weigh three kilograms of coffee at home. That would be a serious caffeine intake. So if the Varia Brewing Scales looks like they might set your brewing consistency on fire, you can find these from the link in the description down below. Now let's check out number four and number three. Introducing these two at the same time, we have the Bellman 50 SS Stovetop Steamer along with the Subminimal Nanofoma Milk Frother. Now each of these products is going to make silky smooth, cafe quality, delicious textured milk. And I've obviously tried to fit as many verbs in there as possible into that sentence, only because it's true what I say about these products. By large margins, these would be the best milk frothing products available right now without having to buy a complete home espresso machine. With the Bellman being that complete package, made from stainless steel, you place water inside it and then place it on the stove. And once it heats up, it's gonna start producing that steam you're after to create the milk we all want. It works pretty much in the same way an espresso machine does, but so much more portable. I love to take mine camping with me. And it is also good on all stovetops, including induction cooktops. And the Nanofoma, well of course, this is the more compact approach to milk texturing. You have to heat the milk up in the microwave or over the stove using a jug first. And then with the Nanofoma and interchangeable nano screens placed inside the jug, whilst pressing onto the button, the Nanofoma is going to go to work very effectively at spinning that milk to perfection. And it only takes around 20 seconds to reach the creamiest of latte style milk. And then it doesn't really matter how you prepare your coffee. Adding the best milk to the coffee is going to get pretty close to the real thing you get from, dare I say it, barista made coffee. But it's completely true. If you have an espresso machine at home, then making really good milk is no trouble at all. And those drinks are gonna be pretty close to cafe quality. But if you don't have a machine, then the Bellman or the Nanofoma are the goods to get. And you can check both of these out from the link up above. Now let's go to number two, the Wakako Pico Presso. And this comes from a heritage of handheld espresso makers all made from Wakako. And they've really done their bit on this one and gone and made a superb espresso brewing device that literally fits in the palm of your hand. Now this little beauty, when unpacked, has all the accessories you would expect to see from a specialty coffee shop in Melbourne, and it makes comparable quality espresso too, dosing into a full basket using 20 grams of espresso ground coffee. And then releasing and pumping the handle to begin brewing, you've got the satisfaction of a naked filter basket. So watching that delicious espresso pour out is something to behold. The quality of the shot is impressive and mind blowing for the size of the machine. And the Pico Presso is that ultimate portable espresso maker. But I can also see it being used on a daily basis. It really is that good. I know I've put my order in for Santa and I'm not going anywhere this Christmas break without taking my Pico Presso. And you can find this along with its full review from this link up above. Now let's jump to number one, the Hario Cold Brew Pot. And honestly, a Christmas list wouldn't be complete without a cold brew coffee maker being mentioned because Christmas in Australia is hot and the Hario Cold Brew Pot is a very popular cold brewer that's perfect for beginners and the advanced alike. The simple brewing technique of adding ground coffee in the filter and then water in the jug, it can't get any easier. And then placing it in the fridge for 12 hours so when you come back, you've got cold brew coffee ready to serve. Make it at night and then drink it in the morning. It ticks all the boxes from how easy it is to make to the quick cleanup routine and ready to go again. This all keeps the Hario Cold Brew Pot at the top of its list for cold brewers. And it now comes in a few different colors. We've got the black, but there's also a blue, white, red, or brown. And this is the one liter version, but there's also a 600 ml version. So fitting either of these in the fridge is not going to be an issue. And they're also the item on this list that comfortably 
fits into an affordable Secret Santa present under $50. Now, I'm all for the Hario Cold Brew Pot as it is enough to stuff anyone's stocking full and you can find this in the description down below. And that wraps it up for this year's list of the best coffee-centric presents to gift yourself or others. And if you have any questions on any one of these products, add it to the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Or perhaps you might want to add the product that you would like added to your wish list, and then I can pass it on to Santa for you. And leading up to Christmas, I hope everyone has a safe and thoughtful Christmas, shared with loved ones and great coffee. Thanks for watching to the end of this video, and we'll see you again real soon.